so guys thank you for joining me again in today's segment today's segment we're going to be covering all about atoning in my last one it was all about cleansing and this one is all about toning which is the second part to your um, skincare routine I'm going to give you guys a little bit of information in terms of what toning is all about toning is basically really really good for removing um, any further dirt that is left over from cleansing because sometimes when you cleanse you can't get everything off so toning comes into that factor and it also helps with balancing your pH for your skin um, that's what toning is good for it just balances things out so that you're not too oily or you know not also too dry it just balances things out so that's what I like to think of toning as toning as well is good for really tightening up your pores um, if you use obviously the right toner it's going to help to shrink your pores the size of them um, because you know you're cleaning it out and doing that further step so that's what toning really is essentially for it's just like just further removing any dirt that's on the skin and purifying the skin and balancing things out. So yeah, now I'm gonna actually show you guys um, what toner I use, how I tone. Again, you don't need to use loads of toning um, solution. You just need to use a little bit at a time and you'll find that your products will last you for a longer time, which we are always trying to do to save some point. So yeah, I'm going to show you guys how I tone and what I use, all that good stuff. So guys, this is my toner that I use. Sometimes I use the Paula's Choice um, BHA toner. I tend to use that in the night time or the times where I'm having a breakout because that one is more of a toner slash exfoliant. But this is what I use at the moment for everyday basis and I've actually been really really enjoying it and been loving it it's the purifying and toner and this contains some essential oils it's so gentle on the face and it's just so perfect for combination skin um, it's soothing it's purifying and also has some awesome also has some exfoliating um, also has some exfoliating elements to it um, it contains acetic acid which is super perfect if you are somebody that tends to break out so i use my toner i tend to tone um, twice a day again i always make sure that i tone twice a day when i when i cleanse i tone afterwards i just can't do without doing any of the steps for me um, so yeah that's what you do so what i tend to use for my toning i know some people use their hands some people say that you use your hands directly with the toner but i like to use a cotton pad because that's just how i've always been taught um, in terms of using toners obviously depending on the toners there's some toners where there's spritzers that you can spray over the face whereas some you can you know use a cotton wool so i think it's just up to people's preference and what you prefer I just like to use cotton wool um, so yeah so what I just do is I just um, pat a little bit of the toner onto my cotton pad just like that I like to use two because I just think it's just easier for me to work around the face um, my first my face portion um, so what I just do is I start from the top I just like to start from the top when doing things for skincare and I don't like to go back upwards because I just think that you're just going to be spreading more bacteria so I like to go down when toning and then I just work my way around like that and then I do my neck because you always have to make sure whatever you do to the face, you do it to the neck. And then the last but not least thing that I like to do is to grab, flip them over and use the other parts that I've obviously not used. And then I just like to go back at the back of my ears to make sure that those are clean as well. Because honestly, when you put makeup and, you know, 
moisturizers and stuff like that on your face your ears just are so dirty and trust me i always just find loads of foundation and stuff like that at the back there so i have always been taught that way to clean behind your ears because it's just you know not as nasty if you do it that way but yeah that is basically how i tone um i think with toning you don't want to overdo it you don't want to be using the cotton pad like all around your face and taking it from you know the bottom back to the face because you're just going to be spreading all those bacteria that you've used if you do feel like you need to tone a bit more um i would suggest to use clean cotton pads and do it again that way rather than using the old one back onto your face again because it's just screaming bacteria and your pores are just like you know can't cope they're just screaming at you so i highly recommend um that in terms of toning but it's just like a simple step to do what i tend to do after I've um, toned, I just allow 60 seconds or 30 to 60 seconds for the product to work its way into the pores without um, putting, you know, moisturizer and all of that afterwards. I just leave 30 to 60 minutes in between, just allow that to sink through to the pores and yeah move on to the next step so i really hope you guys found this useful and again i will see you in my next one for the next segment